Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Luke here from All Specialist Gaming, and today I am just bringing you a frap settings tutorial and then how you can download it, where to download it from. Um, I'm not going to be showing you how you can get the full version for free, just got on YouTube. I'm, I'm just going to say that, I don't get copyrighted or anything. But this is just going to be showing you the frap settings. So, open up your internet browser first, and you want to go to www.fraps.com go to the download tab and then download it this is the trial version of fraps so like i said go into youtube then find that there once you've installed everything go and open up fraps just give it a minute okay so fraps the window will look like this if you want to just record the desktop click on the monitor error desktop dwm and that should just start and then when you do the you when you start recording with your hotkey that's just going to record the screen I'm just going to tick that on the FPS I don't really have anything I, I just put an overlay in the top left hand corner so I know what FPS I am on in my games and what fraps is recording that screenshots now you don't do anything apart from PNG or JPEG and maybe a screen capture hotkey Movies tab is basically the most important tab on Fraps. So first off, you need the folder to save it in. Mine's currently in the C drive. Oh, one minute. Um. Okay. Sorry about that. That keeps coming up. I'm gonna try and fix that, but that shouldn't come up anymore. Anyway. Uh. But yeah, mine's in the C drive Fraps folder and in the Movies folder. So you just click clearly click the Change button up here and choose wherever then to view that folder you just click view okay now you can set yourself a video capture hotkey mine's print screen because i don't use that often if for anything you can also disable that by clicking the disable button next to it now under the video capture settings this is where you get the file size and everything and how good it's going to record I usually go for 60 FPS you can choose 50 or lower but I, I like a steady 60 FPS and I like to do it full size because half size is bad quality it isn't HD even though it says it is it just isn't Full size is a larger, like a much larger file size, but it is in full HD. The loop buffer length I put to an average of 30 seconds. Now into the sound capture settings. The sound capture settings is basically what comes out of your speakers, what comes out of your mic, etc, etc. So, you want to tick the box, record Win 7 sound, and then check the circle that says stereo. And usually when you open fraps the record external input box will be unclicked. You want to just click that. And then whatever whatever your default mic is, that's going to show up here. So mine's external which I'm using now. And that's gonna be what it's gonna to use to record the commentary out of. And you can set it so it only captures while pu pushing a certain button. So if I tick that, you can choose that. But I like to have that on all the time. You can hide the mouse cursor while capturing. I'm just going to take that off. You always want to lock the frame rate while recording just so it doesn't change the FPS. Don't go too low. It sometimes for me it does go to zero and then back up to like twenty eight, which is average because I've got a like a really bad computer. I've got a four gig RAM laptop, which isn't the best, but I will be getting a eight gig RAM two terabyte hard drive, double the amount of processing gigahertz uh, desktop computer in the next few months. So that should be good to use. And then don't 
take the false lossless RGB capture because that will slow down the fraps. Anyway, I hope this helped and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hope this enjoyed you know, hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials, gameplays, commentaries and more. So yeah. Bye guys.